Hi. So what we have here today, we're here to um, solve the following absolute value equation. So this one tends to be a little tricky because, well, we have two absolute value equations. Or we have two absolute values on each. Um, one on each side of the equal sign. So if you think about it, if you go back to your definition of absolute value, what this means is that we're going to have four possible scenarios on this one. In other words, if you remember from your definition of absolute value, remember absolute value can be plus or minus, like the stuff on the inside of the absolute value. So it can be plus or minus on the left side and also plus or minus on the right side. So that's what tells us we have four different combinations of four different possibilities. So in other words, what we're going to do, okay, we're going we're gonna to assume, we're going to do for part one, that we're going to deal with the positive absolute values. In other words, this would be a positive z plus 5 over 8 equals a positive z minus 7 over 8. Okay, that's one possibility. Another possibility is if on the left side we still have z plus 5 over 8, okay, but it equals the negative z minus 7 over 8. All right. Now, what if we have negative z plus 5 over 8? equals the positive z minus 7 over 8. And then if we have the negative z, well, that, that is already taken. So if we have z plus 5 over 8 equals that negative, hmm, let's see here. Let's see what we're missing. Well, we have the negative z plus 5 over 8 equals the negative z minus 7 over 8. So there's our four possible scenarios, our four possible equations. All right. So what we're going to do, we're going to look at but all four of these. Okay, so I'm going to do some erasing, and then we're going to come back to it. So we're going to work each possible scenario. Give me just a second to erase. All right. So on this equation right here, z plus 5 over 8 equals z minus 7 over 8. This is our first possible case. So what we're going to do, we're going to solve each equation for z. Okay, that's ultimately what we have to do. But there's a problem, and we're about to see it in just a second. If we subtract z on both sides, well, our z's will cancel out, and we're left with 5 over 8 equals a negative 7 over 8, which that doesn't work. Okay, so we're going to put a sad face over here. So the first possible case doesn't work, so we can't really solve it using that scenario. The second case... We have written we had written earlier z plus five over eight equals a negative z minus seven over eight with parentheses. Yeah, don't forget your parentheses because that grouping does matter, does play a huge factor into it. All right, so we're gonna once again we're gonna solve for z. Well, let's clean this up first. So I have z plus five over eight equals that negative sign. I'm gonna distribute into the parentheses. So that would be a negative z plus 7 over 8. So now we're going to start adding and subtracting across the equal sign. Let's add the z to both sides. All right. So that means these z's will cancel out. And I've got 2z plus 5 over 8 equals 7 over 8. All right. We're getting somewhere. So now I'm going to subtract the 5 eighths on both sides. All right. So my 5 eighths cancel out. And 
I'm now left with 2z equals. Now remember when you add subtract fractions, you got to keep the same denominator. Thankfully, we do have the same denominator. So all we have to do is take 7 minus 5, and that gets us a 2. Okay, so we have 2 over 8. Now, Give me just a second, I apologize. Okay. Yeah, I apologize. So now we gotta divide both sides by two, or we can multiply both sides by one half. So I'm gonna multiply both sides by one half, simply because we're dealing with a fraction on the other side, the equal sign. Okay, so I'm gonna multiply by one over two. Now here's the cool part. This two cancels out with this two over here. And guess what? This 2 cancels out with this 2 over here. So now all I have left now, it's a z equals 1 over 8. And there is my answer right there. Now you can work out the other scenarios, which is actually what we're going to do anyways. Okay, because I want y'all to, I want you to be comfortable and knowing that, you know what, yeah, instead of just taking his word on it, I'm actually going to verify it for myself. Okay, so we're just going to mark that that is the answer. Okay. Now, scenario number three, which is what we had written earlier, was a negative z plus 5 over 8 equals z minus 7 over 8. Okay, we're going to solve it like we did before. So the negative gets distributed. So that would be negative z minus 5 over 8 equals a z minus 7 over 8. All right, so let's subtract, add, add stuff across the equal sign. So now I'm just going to add my z's here because I don't like having a negative variable. That's strictly personal preference. So these guys cancel out. So I'm left with a negative 5 over 8 equals 2z minus 7 over 8. Now I'm going to add 7 over 8 to both sides because i got to get my z's by itself. So these 7 over 8s cancel out. And over here I am left with negative 5 over 8 plus 7 over 8 which will give us a positive 2 over 8 equals 2z. Okay, just like we did on the last problem, I'm going to scroll up here real quick. Just like we did on the last problem right here, we're going to multiply both sides by 1 half because we have a fraction. Okay, instead of dividing fractions, we can multiply by the reciprocal. So if we multiply both sides of our equation by 1 half, well, just like earlier, the 2's would cancel out over here and over here. So all we're left with is a 1 over 8 equals z. Guess what? That's the same answer we got before. Okay? So that means, wow, so far so good. Okay? Now for scenario number 4, Scenario number four was a negative z plus 5 over 8 equals a negative z minus 7 over 8. All right. Same thing. We're going to distribute our negative signs. So that would be a negative z minus 5 over 8 equals a negative z plus 7 over 8. Now, when we start adding and subtracting across the equal signs, let's add the z's to both sides. So if we add z to both sides, uh-oh, wait a second, hang on there. Our z's cancel out on both sides. Ooh. So now we have a negative 5 over 8 equals 7 over 8. Well, that doesn't work out. Okay? So... 
we went through all possible scenarios of this problem, and we were able to determine that two of the scenarios actually gave us the same answer. So ironically, in a nutshell, one-eighth would be our final answer for this overall equation. And remember, the equation is what we have right up here. So as always, let me know if you have any questions of any kind. Um, I'd be happy to make some more videos like this. And until next time, see you all later.